Hey, what's up, guys? Back for another video. Today, we're going to be looking at Pokey. Nah, I'm just kidding. Pal World. So, we're going to be looking at the better version of Pokemon. I know I might get some hate on that, but I'm sorry, guys. Pow Wow is better than Pokemon, even in this early access. So, oh, so that we have a little maintenance going on. Okay, it's fine. You know, I don't really play online, but... So yeah, it's like I was saying, this game is in early access, and from what I've played, I played about 12 hours, and I finally got my gun, well, I finally got the guns on my little pals, so I'm excited to be playing now, and I'm excited to say that this game is better than Pokemon, I think so. I haven't played a Pokemon game since maybe Pokemon Shield? And Sword, I think it was, for the Nintendo Switch. And even then, I just it couldn't get into it. It just felt like a kid game. It felt like it just wasn't... I felt like they didn't do much to improve the game. I mean, yeah, they always make new Pokemons. But, I mean, the mechanics hasn't changed. They tried adding Shinies. But it's just... I wanted something new. And with Pal World, I got it. And as you can see, this is my base. There's a night and day cycle, and I personally like it. I know other Pokemon games might have it, the newer ones. I, I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Like I said, I don't play any Pokemon, but, you know, this game, it's really fun. It has became addicting to me, and I did not think I would like it. I know when I saw the game, I was like, oh, cool, Pokemon-like creatures with guns didn't expect much but i put it on my wish list and once it finally came out i was like oh this thing is freaking cool i want to check it out and you know i was not disappointed and as you can see this is my house built it with my own bare hands my little pals you know i like that i like i like the design of the game i know this game has a lot of flat going on because of the whole controversy of it looking like Pokemon characters. But honestly, guys, I mean, what do you expect? Pokemon Company has been around for, what, more than 25 years? And it's bound to happen. I mean, they can't be the only one that are going to be making creatures that look like this. And you can see the frame rate is dropping right now. Oh, we have a raid. So I'll check the frame rate right now. So let's check out the raid right now. You can throw up my uh lip monk and then grab its little machine gun see it look let me show you oh they're not here yet the little suckers are over there coming they're making their way to my house to steal my crap why am i stuck oh look at that you guys get a witness a glitch What's going on? Why am I stuck? What the heck? It was a glitch with the power. Okay, I have another gun. I have this monkey right here. What's it called? Tansy? Look. Oh, it's just got... That's so fucking cool, I think. You know, you get bone arrows. You get these, like, spear-like pokeballs to catch these little suckers. And then you can also catch humans. I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure if I do, it'd be fucking cool. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about the game, the controversy behind it. And to be honest, I feel people are blowing it out of proportion. They're upset. You know, they're saying that these look like Pokemons. Yeah, they do look like Pokemons, you know. But I mean, like I said earlier, what do you expect? The Pokemon company has been around for so many years. It's bound to, you know, people are bound to get inspiration from it. And we just, I feel like us as consumers should appreciate that another developer is willing to, you know, make a Pokemon-like game, but better. This is more like Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I just think people are upset because it sold more than 8 million copies in a matter of, you know, a week or a week and a half or however long it took. And I feel like people just need to be happy that this game is so good and it's so successful because, 
you know, we're tired of the same rinse, repeat crap. We're tired of Pokemon Company not really respecting customers and their fans. You know, I'm not one of them, but I, from what I saw in the last game that came out, what is it, Violet and Scarlet, I believe? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, I don't play Pokemon, but, you know, they, they've been disrespecting them. They've been, you know, pumping out shit. And they're spoon feeding these fans, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap for it, but I'm sorry, that's just the truth. And a lot of people don't like hearing the truth. So it's daytime already, as you can see. I fixed the frame rate. It's a it's a pretty steady 30 with these graphic settings. You know everything on medium. Let's put VSync on, and. Yeah, it took me about 10 hours to actually get a pal with a gun, which would be this little guy, Lip Monk. So, yeah, look, little guy be shooting a pistol. Like, that's, that's cool as shit. Like, come on, you cannot say that's not cool. You know, so, yeah, I just feel like people need to appreciate this game. Like, and I guarantee you, people that are complaining have not tried it. And I bought this game on Steam. I got it for on sale for twenty-seven US dollars. And I know it's on Xbox Game Pass, and it's free. Well, technically not free, but it's you know you can play it with your subscription. And if you don't want to pay for it, I highly recommend you trying it on Game Pass if you have it. I know it doesn't run as good as the PC version, but I mean, it's on Game Pass. Might as well try it. I do recommend you getting it on Steam, though. Like, if you have a Steam Deck, this should be a day one buy. If you like Pokemon, should be a day one buy. If you like the building mechanics, should be a day one buy. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like once the game fully releases you know it might take maybe a year or two can be even longer but you know, there's no real story to it there's no dialogue there is little cinematic cutscenes like this and it looks great you know as you can see it looks good i can only imagine what it's going to look like on a higher end pc but on my steam deck lcd model it looks great this is not an oled the colors are very vibrant. I have the vibrancy up on my display mode. Oh, look at this Electro Buzz looking like I. The frames are dropping. Like I said, it does drop, but it's not too noticeable to the point where it's like unplayable. And I feel like the reason for that is because um, the, 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 the aesthetic of the game, the way it looks, you know, the whole cell shade, colorful look, it helps the game stick out okay let's can i catch him nope okay let monk come through i need your guns oh crap i need you to attack aggressively look pull out that little ak That's so cool. A little monkey has a fucking gun. Like, you cannot say that's not cool. And you cannot say that's not better than Pokemon right off the bat. As you can see with the graphic settings I have, the frame rate is pretty steady. Oh. Oh, also, you get a flamethrower. Look at this. And those little car wheels are sick. Oh, shoot. Damn. I'm screwed. So, yeah. You know. I feel like everybody should have this on their Steam Deck. And for $30, it's a hell of a steal. Like, yeah, it is an early access. But... You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of different gameplays out there with people with multiple hours and multiple guns, but you know, it's, it's, you're gonna enjoy it. 
I enjoyed it. And coming from a person that doesn't like the building mechanics, like I hate Fortnite. I hate, I hate Minecraft, never played it, you know? And I feel like this game like is bringing the fun to the whole building crap. Look at this. My little guy has a freaking machine gun. Yeah, for those who are wondering, it does take a while to get the guns, you know, it uh, it's a lot of grinding at first, but once you get it down, like once you start leveling up, once you start unlocking the different stuff you can build, it becomes even more fun. It, 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 get, it becomes addicting, you know, I'm over here stuttering because yeah, it becomes very addicting and like, I, I can't stop playing it. I have multiple games in my backlog, but this one, always like brings me back oh crap this guy is freaking tough so this right here is a boss this is one of the first bosses you actually face off in the game you see my lip monk got its freaking come back look at this I, I can admit that's freaking badass if you guys like the video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. You know, let me know what you guys think of the game. Let me know if you guys tried the game. Let me know if you guys do believe what they're what this company is doing is, you know, unfair. And I understand that a lot of these pals are made with AI. And honestly, I have no issue with it if it speeds up a game development. The only issue I would have with it is if they're actually, you know, if it's taking developers jobs if a company decides to do this like willingly then let them you know like why are you gonna stop these companies from making games the way they want to make them if they want to make them through ai then so be it if they want to make them you know with the full development squad then let them you know it's the choice of the developers but if they're doing it by force if they're choosing ai over employees then that's an issue shoot Sorry, it's getting a little bit tense. I'm about to die. He's about to die. We about to die. Yeah, so this game takes inspiration from a lot of other companies. You know, a lot of other games. You know, you got Zelda. You got, obviously, Pokemon. Minecraft. But at the end of the day, if it makes a game fun, then why... Oh, come back. I'm going to die. If it makes the game fun, then why... Why stop it, you know? I just pretty much wanted to put my two cents in it, how I, what I think is right, you know, what do I, th or what I think about it overall. I enjoy the game. And like I said, if, if the game is fun, then so, then, then play it, you know? And people need to stop. I mean, I don't want to say hating, but it just comes off as haters. You know, these Pokemon fans are super fanatics. And I understand they love... Oh, shit. So close. I understand they love their game. I understand they love their Pokemon. But let other companies shine. If they sold 8 million copies, be like, damn. That's because of Pokemon, you know? Don't be like, oh, you guys stole their ideas, lawsuit, you know, and the company. Destroy it. Don't, don't do that. As you can see, this game already looks better than Pokemon, and I have it on medium settings with 30 FPS. Shit, the characters look better overall. But I just wanted to show you a quick gameplay, show you how it works, and you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. My little pal's hard at work. Look at that. My little house. Yeah. Damn, they're hard at work. Let me show you the pals that I've caught in so far. So these are like pals I've caught. And they're pretty cool, you know. They do look like, obviously, Game Freak's characters, but it's all good for me. So like I said, I want to make a quick, short video. And like always, peace.